This is a video on a program app for the Ta Texas Instruments TI-89 titanium calculator that I've programmed. And with regard to graphing by hand, where we're going to find the local extrema or the local maximum and minimums. And to get into my menu, you have to press second alpha I N D E X with the letters and then press alpha again to enter the eight in the open and close parentheses. Press enter and you're into my menu. You scroll down all alphabetical to what you want. There's many, many things in these in my menu here for calculus, for you to pass calculus and do your homework, etc. Right now, I want to find local maximum mins. I tell you to start a graph on your paper, and we're going to enter our function. You have to enter alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines in my programs. Alpha, and we're going to do this function. 3 times x squared minus x to the fourth power. I show you what you've entered, so in case you've made a mistake, you can change it. Give you that option. I say it's OK. We want to find local maximum means. You can find all these things, critical points, cross x-axis, crosses the y-axis, all to get your graphing by hand perfect. We want to know the local maximum mins. Uh, you take the first function, take the first derivative, you factor that, and you get your critical numbers. These are where these points crosses the x-axis on this graph. And you'd mark them on your graph right now. x equals 1.22 on the right side of the zero, and negative here. Uh, we need to find the critical points. That's where you add the y value, so you need to add, uh, plug these critical numbers into the uh, original function to get the critical point. And here's the xy value right now, 1.22. I show you what you do. You write this stuff all on your paper, so you get an a in this problem, exactly as you see it. And here's the x and y value for that critical point. The next one is 0. The critical point is 0, 0. And for the minus 1.22, the critical point is minus 1.2 and 2.25. That's the xy value. So those are critical points. Next thing you want to find, you want to do the second derivative test to find whether they're a maximum local or, a, or you know, a local maximum or a local minimum. If they're a minimum, I like to put a, a valley on that um, critical point that you've marked on your graph already. And if it's a maximum, I put a, a mountain right there, a small, tiny uh, mountain at that point. So it tells me when I draw the graph as to how to, what, what it's going to happen on that. Anyways, you do your second derivative test. You find the second derivative after you find the first one, which I do for you. And you plug that, the critical point, into the second one. And it tells you whether, you, and the answer is either negative or positive. If it's negative, it's a maximum in this case. Put the zero in there. Comes up with six. That's a minimum. And minus 22 comes up with a minus 11.9. That's negative again, so there's a maximum. So under those, for in this case, you'd put a, a mountain. And if it's a minimum, you'd put a little tiny um, valley. And after you find the x values of where it crosses the x, where you're almost done with graphing that uh, function. Pretty neat, huh? EverystepCalculus.com. Go to my site. Enjoy my programs and pass calculus.